interruption, but I'm Hunter Z Infected, and I'm here with my co-host. I'm Ace Trainer Josh, and welcome back to another episode of Part of the Eruption. Ace Trainer Josh, what team are you a part of again? Tell me. Uh, I'm part of the Noble Victory. And who ask? did y'all just face last week? I, I appreciate you asking. We just, we just faced the Wings of Wrath. Right. Tell me about that series, Josh. Okay, so for all y'all who don't know, and I'm going to try to say this in the most non-biased way possible, but we smoked Wings of Wrath 6-1, one of the biggest blowout series of the season besides the actual 7-0 from Wings of Wrath against the all old heads earlier this season. Yeah, but in any case, for the guys that don't know, the matches were like, were Glot versus Ryder, Brian versus Toxic, Habitat versus TDG, K-Quick versus Zing, Aster versus Troy, Imo versus myself, and Sharky versus Sablo. There was like three undefeated players who actually played that series, which I'll discuss. We're, we're going to discuss later on, but uh, yeah, most of these matchups were pretty, um, pretty good for us. We only had one bad matchup, and that was Sharky, and he was the only one who lost. Spoilers, and overall, just so many things went good for us. And um, if I was uh, Wings of Ref, I would be panicking a little bit because I mean, losing such a losing such a tragic fashion. And losing two games in a row now at that, and not to mention their last loss was five two. You got to start thinking like, what's going no, on? No, it was it was oh. four three. Four three? Oh, I, yeah, that's right. You choked or something. Like, not you. Some one of your players did, but nonetheless, it was um, it's a very interesting series for a lot of fans to think about in terms of you know, is Wings of Wrath truly what we thought they were? Because the first four weeks, you know, undefeated status, all that stuff, and you're like, damn, like this is the best team in the league, undoubtedly. And all of a sudden, I'm a li- we're a little unsure. What your, were your thoughts about it as your, a non Yeah, your, your series started one and one, right? Versus yes. them. It was, who who were the wins and losses? It was you, right? You and Sharky had already played at that point? Or did someone play before you that one? I think Toxic I believe, did. Yeah, Toxic had played. And then... Look, GDG all I know, played. all I know is that y'all smashed them when... In like a tier, it was the worst sun and moon versus the best sun and moon, and y'all swept them in that. And then y'all yeah. swept them in sword and shield, and then y'all split Oras for that six one juicy victory. Um, not much to say other than you know they should be worried. They should take this last week seriously because they're going up against a team that is hungry for trying to make the playoffs type thing. You know? Yeah, because I think currently hungry men. Uh, who they face this week is in the playoffs if everything were to stand the way it is. Actually, no, they're just behind it. Um, the yeah, the majority is by like one game or something. Yep. Or um, actually, no, they're tied. They're they're tied at this point. Okay. Yeah. And Josh, speaking of hungry men, what what do you think is happening over there after their tragic loss against Danger Zone, and now they face Wings with a three three record. So honestly, I was looking at the the series, and a lot of things went good for Hungry the Hungry Man. All things considered, just um a couple of things like Nerf losing. Um, he was three and two up to that point. He lost to Vulcan, who I I don't think is like that much better than like pretty similar. Losing that game was pretty unfortunate. Or their auras got swept. Um, yeah. By by Danger Zone, who I I don't think actually has the greatest auras in my opinion. And I think, you know, Hunger Man's Auras isn't that bad. Not either. only that, Hunger Man had yeah. one of the better Auras players in the league, in Spitfire. In Spitfire, who was at that point undefeated. Again, we'll discuss that more later. Um, so just a really bad loss to take there, let alone get swept. And then 100p, obviously the big factor. Oh, the Game 7, 100p Game 7, 100p That happened. Slap. And, you know, 100p not coming up for you. Like, when you put that all together, it's just it's a really bad loss. Because really... Then, um. If yeah. you look at like those that won, you have Nick beating Harris, which is like, hey, you know what? Nick looks like he's actually winning games now. Nick actually looks good. You know, he looks like a player you can rely on for Hungry Men. Say, uh, Zern, Zern's, I've always been like 50 50 on. I don't, yeah, but Zern, Zern got the win that he should be getting against lesser players such as LeJohn. So, you know, things that yeah. should have gone right for the Hungry Men went right. Even Scrappy 10 beating Ollie. Who I mean, Scott Odin. Is in the Wait, no, did he beat Ollie or Odin? Ollie no. subbed in for Odin because right, uh, they, because the other team we're not going to mention because they're already dead. Uh, we're dead, so they replaced them basically. Um, but <laughs> wait, cut that out. Wait, I need to let him out. 
You have to edit that. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anyways. No. Wait. Four, stop. Wait. And three, two, one. Yeah. Was Continue. That, what? Continue. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so yes, um, Ollie was something for Odin because the other team was dead. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that Hunger Man had everything go right for him that they should have, and then the the old reliable that should have probably got the series done just didn't. And that was the determining factor for Hungry Men. So now all of a sudden they're down the hole and they got to face a really good team who is probably very desperate to get a good win. So, yeah, I'm not liking Hungry Men's odds, personally. Yeah, I thought um, I thought they really needed to win this series because it, it was like, it was for sure going to put them in such a dang good spot. Such a dang good spot. But now here they are facing what used to be an undefeated team now a team fighting for their playoffs spot. Yeah. It's just the fact that they also just lost to a team of such low okay, status. Okay, now, you know? we were talking about yeah. Spitfire. We were talking about Amol, kind of. Aster, kind of. Sharky, for sure. How about this tragedy that became across DPL this week? The undefeated players falling. Yes. Um, for the guys who don't know out there, there was... There were six undefeated players who had like there were at least four and or better, I believe, something like that. Yeah. Um, and five out of those six players lost this very week. One of them being Astro, who I think at that point was like nine and one since like last season or something, and then finally no, he was nine and zero, oh, something like that. No, he, he was nine and season. one or something. Yeah. Either way, he lost his first game of the season to Troy, the birthday boy that week. Shout out to him. Birthday boy. Um, Woo. Yeah, then we had Spitfire, who was looking pretty consistent. Auras and just you He's know, again, lost. if he wins, if he wins, then um, Hunger Man wins the series. But he ended up getting his first loss to the um, Specs King, who shout out to him. He's done a really good job in the games he's played this season. Bird losing to Shadow. Um, I looked at that matchup. Bird's matchup looked fucking ter- like terrible. Terrible. I don't know what he was supposed to do to win. He should have brought the Dwacky and. I mean, just saying that feels, like, really strange and weird, so I don't know. Bird was kind of fucked. And then <laughs> the, big, the big ones are Imo and Sharky. I'm going to give a lot of credit to myself. I didn't think my matchup was that great, and I ended up, like, beating them pretty easily, I would say. And then Sharky, you know, got the short end of the stick and had a really bad matchup, and Sablo prepped pretty good, and he played really so, good. So, so are you saying... really Sharky's fault. Are you saying Imo is terrible, then, because he lost a bad match or a good matchup? No, I, I I prepped my ass off and I played really good. Like, I didn't play bad at all. I, just, I think I just, everything I put into place worked out really well. See, I and... have on record you saying that Imo was going to be like the most underrated player in the, of the season or something. Yeah, and I believe that. He's been playing good and he's been getting wins for his team. And you just like, tossed me, him like a salad. What's up with that? His first loss, me being his first loss is not a big deal. Bro. <laughs> Are you saying you're that great then? Are you saying you're the best in the season? Um, I mean, I could be. Um, I think I'm number one right now in Auras, and I'm hoping to get that number one spot at the end of the regular season. Also, shout out to you, bro. Um, you're the only undefeated player left at five and zero, looking to be six and zero this week. Although it's not gonna happen, bro. But hey, we'll still, we'll get to that when we get to that. Still a bigger. Hey, hey, hey how about you trap your? How about you shut your trap before I seven zero you right now? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now. Josh, let's talk about a new segment we have. We're calling it Oddish Maker. We're going to talk about five teams and their odds of making the playoffs. So let's right. start with you, Josh. First team, the Ghosting Majorities. What are their odds? So the Ghosting Majorities have been the most interesting team this season just because I have mentioned this previously in other shows, but they've been very um, inconsistent with when they decide to be good. And by good, I mean, like, really good. And then all of a sudden, they just look bad. Um, but this week, they are facing old heads. And obviously, honestly, their player matchups, I think, aren't that great. Like, if old heads were putting in 100% effort, I think they would win. But considering old heads is 0-6, unless they're playing to not be the first 0-7 team, I really don't think old heads will win. But I'm going to give Ghost Majorities a 65% chance because, I mean, if they do decide wow. to give that effort, then I think Ghost Majorities could realistically lose this series and obviously if they lose they're basically out but if they win i think that pretty much puts them in the playoffs so i'm gonna give them a 65 here what do you um, think i'm gonna give them 
the fact that they're facing old heads, you know, that's pretty good odds. But then also the fact that they're um there's a lot of competition, a lot of people fighting for those last two seeds or the last three seeds. I mean, I'm going to give them a 50 percent chance. I think their odds are half and half right now. They're pretty solid. All right. Next one. Wig. What are their odds? So Wig, I mean, their differential is just so bad compared to all the other teams that are basically in the same record position. And I mean, all things considered, I think they will probably win this week, but not by a lot. So I don't like their odds. I'm going to give them a 20 percent. Nothing is impossible. But I mean, they really not only need to win their series, but they need some other games and other series to go their way in terms of like differential. But yeah. it's not impossible. Like if they were to like six one or five, even five two uh, danger zone, then anything can happen. Yeah, um, I gotta say, Wig, probably the lowest odds of all the teams left. I'm gonna give them a thirty three percent chance of making playoffs at this point they are facing danger zone um i do think they can beat danger zone i think other teams could lose that they need to see lose so i'm gonna give them a 33 percent chance not the best odds but not terrible all right okay next that, that more than i thought yeah. hungry men what are their odds okay so i'm gonna apologize to my man max maximus because I've, I, I've honestly been giving this team so much shit all season, and yet they're still here. But I'm going to give them a fucking 0% chance. To <laughs> the no way! I, let me explain. I, they're facing not just a better team, in my opinion, this week, but a team who I think is very hungry. No, no pun not intended. Um, But uh, I think all their players at the um, Wings of Wrath are starting this week are just so much better than what I think Hungry Men have to offer. The only, I mean, obviously, if 100P decides to put in the effort for Hungry Men to try to make the playoffs, then he probably should muster up a victory, whoever he plays. But all the other options for the Hungry Men versus what the uh, Wings of Wrath have to offer is just not very good. Like, I think I think Devin might be coming back for Wings. And yeah. even if he doesn't, I think all their other options are still just that much better. Um, so I think, honestly, Hungry Men might lose like 7 or 6 1 this I'm week. giving them. And if they lose, that's going to be so bad. And they, and they don't make the playoffs. I'm going to give them a 40% chance. I think they can beat Whoa, Wings. What? Yeah. Why? Explain, explain, no, explain. Okay, real quick. I think they can beat Wings, and they're looking in a good position to still make playoffs regardless. All right. Next is uh, Wings. What are the odds? All right. So Wings of Wrath, they're still in the playoffs. If they win this week, I think they pretty much still make it. But obviously, if they lose, then, you know, that's bad for them. But I think they're going to win this series very easily, as I mentioned before. I think the players are just so much better that they have to offer. So I'm going to give them a 95% chance. Um, obviously, nothing is impossible. So, I mean, I, even though I did give Hungry Man a 0% chance, I should be giving him 100. But just for, you know, the argument that, yes, this is a game of Pokemon with a lot of variability, I'll give him a 95, but it's you, basically 100. Why didn't you it's give, basically 100. Why didn't you give Hungry Man a 5% chance then? Like, what? All right, fine. Then well, I'll give him a 5%. Hey, does that make you feel better? <laughs> no. But it's basically it's basically zero, okay? Okay, I'm gonna give Wings a eighty percent chance. Um, actually, yeah, uh, eighty eighty percent chance. I think even if they lose this series against Hungerman, their differential and their like record was already so good that odds are they're probably gonna beat whoever even wins this week. Okay, now final team, Noble Victory. What are the odds? Okay, so according to what I've heard, we could still miss, but it's so unlikely. So I gave us a 98.5% chance to um, make the playoffs. I think wait, basically... wait, what kind of random number is that? 98.5? Why don't you just say 99? It was basically like, <laughs> I was going to put like 99.5 or something, but you know what? I'll give us a 98.5. Just spice up the odds a little bit. Wow, you're so like... humble. You are so yeah, bro. humble. Bro. <laughs> I'm giving that percentage to the rest of the league, but... I think we are going to make the playoffs basically guaranteed um, unless we just really completely choke, which I don't see happening. Um, I think we're going to get like at least five wins against you. So, yeah. Okay. I, I give y'all a 50% chance because y'all are getting... <gasps> yo, 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 what? <laughs> yo, hey, explain yourself. Hey, I'm not explain lying. Yourself. I'm not lying, dude. I think y'all are going to get smashed this week and y'all are going to be in danger of other teams. So it's going to depend on how well other teams do and that's going to place y'all wherever as a 4-3, like, negative zero differential in games. But that's just right, me. Bro. That's just me. All right, now, Josh, 
lightning round. Let's actually make it fast this time, eh? Yes, let's do it. All right. Your first question, 100p versus slap. What are your thoughts? Okay. Well, one word. Um, amazing Gre game seven. <laughs> Greedent. That's all I got to say, bro. <laughs> Greedent. Greedent. Stupid squirrel, dude. Hey, I was cheering for 100p, though. Not only because I wanted to see Hungry Men win, but I wanted to see Sableye win. And 100p failed Sableye. It's not the other way around. 100p failed Sableye. I just He's been a pretty good Sableye game. user this season, though. But honestly, props to Slap. I mean, when it came to like a long, drugged out game, I thought 100p would have the option. I mean, the advantage. Oh, well, but clearly 100p just could I, not be I was, created. I was wrong. Yeah, I was very wrong. All so. right. Speaking of players like them, how about Pyro and Vess? What are we now? The reason I mentioned these two, Vess got his first win, and Pyro has been just winning. Yeah, like it was kind of strange because it felt like he basically got that Pyro got dumped off after losing his first game, uh, right before mids to basically Brazil. But ever since joining that team, he's been undefeated and he's only been winning. Although he did get really lucky against Obi. Now, but I, he has I, been winning. Yeah. I wonder, what is that? How much of that winning is like him just being on a, it's like putting up garbage time stats type of thing. Or like, I mean, it, it, it kind of is. But then know? also at the same time, you know, he has no, pretty, probably no support helping him right now. He's probably on his own making his teams and playing his games, right? Yeah, that, he might be getting like some mocks from the mock so, slaves in the server, but hard that's to, it. Hard to say, right? All right, game of the week. What do you think? Um, I'm going to give it to um, your boy Ice. Yes, Ice Bobbert, versus bro. Bobbert. That was such a good game. It was very good. Honestly, I didn't really even see too many even big from a from non side. even from a non like biased perspective on my part. I thought it was just a good game in general. The it was a good game. Yeah. Infernape living that last T pole. Ooh, spicy. Yeah, playing the electric terrain turn the electric terrain turns to make sure that you live t-ball outside of the terrain because you were assault this now i'm gonna Very be honest impressive. i'm gonna be honest i don't know if ice did that on purpose play around the terrain turns or if you just got lucky with how that was going i don't know it was very good also way, i didn't want to mention out. this um shout out to vest he's been grinding all season and he finally got his first win so good for all him. Right, even, right even if it was kind of mickey but i mean still pretty good wins a win that's what i always yes. say speaking now, of wins <laughs> so real quick you want to <laughs> you want to mention a specific yeah so person? if you guys don't know <laughs> last week i picked obi to lose to uh pyronox and i think i only had pyronox winning that <laughs> that week and i was very much correct and even though hunter said the same thing i uh, know hunter said that Obi was gonna lose 7-0 he secretly told me after the show that <laughs> hold that on hold lose. on stop stop so that i just want to let true. obi know i want to let obi know that, that we knew you were gonna lose bro and if you're watching this, I think you're going to lose again, bro. I, and the game after. I never said that. I no, dude. never said that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whatever. Moving, moving on. Just, oh, we got smashed there. Um, yeah. <laughs> week seven predictions. The final week. Tell me. Let's see. Let's start with Wig versus Danger Zone. Jimmy G versus Luffy. I have Jimmy G. What about you? Um, let me see. I have Jimmy G Wayne as well. The right. Milkman has been good. He only losses to you. So Henrik yeah. Volcan, I have Henrik. I have Henrik as well. Yes. Okay. Theo versus Slap, I have Theo. I don't think Lightning strikes twice. I think Theo wins, personally. Mm -hmm. I would love to see Slap pull it off, though. That's all I'm saying. Lux versus Ollie, I have Lux. I think they're, I think they're both shitters. I don't know who's going to win, so I just <laughs> pick Ollie. I, I'm picking Lux because more support. Probably. Yeah. L5 versus Venno. I have L5. I have L5 winning as well, but it's pretty close. All things considered, I'm surprised, but no, L5 should win. Virgie this very versus Metro. I have Metro. I, I think Virgie's kind of bad, but uh, I mean, he's starting, but Metro should win. And then Phil versus Specky. I have Specky. I think Specky's going to finish the season 3 0, and I think Specky will win as well. Leaving us a 4 3 very close win for Wig. I have a 5 2 win for Wig. Oh, that's right. You have Lux. You have Lux winning. I don't know. I have a 4-3, but it could easily be a 5-2. All right. Next series. Ghosty Majorities versus Old Heads. I have Pichu beating Blitz. Me too. I have Pichu beating Blitz as well. Okay. What about Sun Sun versus Vess? I have Sun Sun winning. I got Vess winning the last two games of the season for his, um, like his you belt. Said, like you said earlier, Lightning doesn't strike twice. 
Um, I don't. I don't think Vince is that bad. That's all I'm saying. I'm just saying he had season three a terrible season, season four a terrible season, season five a good season, and now he's having a terrible season. <laughs> I'm just saying maybe he's overrated. Maybe, maybe. Uh, who knows? Just putting that idea out there. Gaming versus Kaif. I have I, gaming. I don't I even got, know if I, I said. I think it's like Kaif, by the way. I think I got Gaming winning as well. He's my boy. I've been rooting for him all season, and he's undefeated so far. He's 2 0. So yeah, Gaming is 1 0, but whatever. Oh, he um, is? Oh, by the way, my point stands. Cookie versus Beardy. I, I got Beardy winning. I got personally. Beardy winning, personally. Yeah, so. Beardy did just lose to L5. To a, it was a really close game, I think, but yeah. I think Beardy will come back and Beardy's win. Beardy's a cool guy, though. So I'm going to say Beardy. Yeah. Rob he's Beardy. been the bright spot for right. that team. So yeah. Sh- shut up. Pyro versus uh, Rob Jr. I got Pyro winning this game. I think he's gonna finish season four and zero with old. So yeah, really, I have Rob Jr. winning. Um, okay. Uh, if I I don't know how to explain it, so I'm just gonna move on. Ian versus TC. Whatever. I have Ian winning this one just purely because, like you said, I think you know they'll, they'll probably have more support than yeah. old, and Ian will have the edge as a result. Me too. All right, Blitz versus PZZ. I got Pikachu Zappy Zap beating Blitz. Really? I have Blitz winning. All right. So with right. that, that's what I was saying. I got a 4-3 win for old, but I mean. Bro, you're so dumb. Just like, you're so they dumb. Easy, they can easily fold Bro, and we can win very easily. I can so, schedule I mean. you a doctor's appointment like right now. I mean, they go so majority. dumb. Wait, who do you? You call, you call me mentally ill? No, I'm just calling you dumb. I don't okay. think you heard me. <laughs> no, I did. All right. I have Ghosty Majority's winning 6-1. Moving on. Um, we'll skip that one for now. Hungry Men Ooh, versus Wings okay. of Wrath. Um, I already mentioned this earlier somewhat, but we can go one by one. Nick versus Habit. I got Habit of winning. I have Nick. Nerf versus Devin. I got Devin winning. I got Devin. Yeah. 100 Sean P versus 100 Sean. P. I have I got Sean P. winning. It was stupid. K Kick versus Zern. I have K Kick winning. K Kick. Yeah. Pi Aster versus, versus Aster. Pi. Aster. I have Aster winning. I'm over to SCA or, or C. I got Imo winning. I got C. And then Spitfire, Spitfire versus, versus Sablo. Sablo. I got Sablo winning. I have Spitfire. For some reason, the dang vote on Spitfire versus Sablo is so biased, and I don't know why. I mean, Sablo is a more uh, veteran player, and he's been good this season. That don't and mean Jack. People probably think Spitfire's wins have been Mickey, so they're probably not voting for him. Either way, you know? I actually have a 4-3 win for Hungry Men. Over wings. I see. That's why your vote, your percentage is so much more different than mine. I, I think yeah. Wings of Wrath is just going to outclassify. Hungry I think. I think it's a really close four three though. Like I, th- it could be easily three four. For the drama purposes, I would love to see a four three. I think. Um, yeah. Win for Hunger Men, but I just I don't see it happening. But yeah, like I have Nick beating Habita. I have a hundred P beating Sean. I have C versus beating Amo, and I have Spitfire versus beating Sablo. Like, I think those are all realistic picks, which is why I have Hungry Men winning. Yeah, so you see um, the auras that let down Hungry Men last week, you have a you have them clutch it up this week. Yep. 100%. All right. Okay, now the last, last series, Josh, the one mm, that's most yeah. relevant to us too. Trick of Eye versus Noble Victory. I think it's an easy 7-0 for Trick of Eye. That's just me, though. Personally, I have a 7-0 for Noble Victory. Um... I think Zugubu is okay. Ass. Okay, okay, okay. Think... Let me tell you why it's a seven zero for Trukabai. Zugubu okay. <laughs> is gonna beat AM twenty two. AM twenty two. AM twenty two. AM twenty two is zero one this season. There is absolutely no way he can beat the two and two goat Zugubu. Zugubu actually has wins. He's proven he can win the season. AM twenty two has not. The last time we saw him play, he was at his absolute worst. That's all I'm saying. All right. Me versus Glop. I'm the only undefeated player left. How am I not going to be the the one to win this game, right? You're, you're going to get glopped. That's all I'm going to say. See, I, I just don't believe in that. I don't believe you're gonna in get glopped. glopped. Dude, when he loses this week, you're going to join the Church of Glop. And <laughs> if I glop. lose this week, there's no more part in the eruption. It's canceled. <laughs> <laughs> you can't Dude, do it. With you, me. It's fine. I'll, I'll replace you with Glop. You can't then, do we'll it go. without me. You literally cannot do it without me. <laughs> That's me. true. You're right. You're you're like the, you're my editor, basically. <laughs> No, you're my co-host. I'm not your yeah. editor. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I, I am the co-host, yeah. All right, shout uh, out DDG. for DDG. I, I got... mean, I, I, honestly, that should be a badass game, like non-biased personally, but I think TG's going to win straightforward. I think it's going to be a stomping. Um, Shadow's oh. favor. 
I mean, uh, okay, bro. dude, TDG like lost against Harris and he's been getting Mickey opponents. Like it's just too easy for shadow. Sh- Shadow's been beating top players all season. So that's my story in shield MVP right there. I mean, but TDG has been winning pretty convincingly too, honestly. Yeah, against Mickey games. players, bro. That's what I'm saying. Been Aki lucky. versus Troy. Aki has done nothing but fucking lose all season long. And Troy just Bro. Won. Okay, but Aki's proven he can win every single season. He's not going to end the season with only one win. That's why he's winning. And then Troy? Troy had a Mickey matchup against k Crick, Or was it Aster? It was it Aster. Aster bro. <laughs> Dude, of course he's going to win that game. What do you mean? Aster was undefeated. So I could be under. <laughs> Dude, I could be 6-0 and o Gypsy King if I'm 0-6. If I have, like, a Charizard versus a a damn Parasect, you know? That's what kind of matchup Troy had. That's all I'm saying. Whatever, dude. I mean, Check- it was kind of... Dude. Checkmate versus but, Zing. Zing has been nothing but a disappointment this season. Zing Checkmate. just beat K Crick and Sun and Moon last Who week. Who care? Dude, that was a Mickey win too. You remember that? He should have yeah. lost. Yeah, you mean the game where K Crick threw away Celesteela like turn five against a drill team? Yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do remember that game. Yeah. <laughs> and Checkmate's yeah. been good all season. He just he got his first loss last week. It's no biggie. No biggie. Whatever. Um, Slick versus Sharky. Sharky just took an L. He's going to start falling off from here on You off. think Slick is beating Sharky? Yes! <laughs> no, it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening, bro. Dude. You're, the matchup, you're smoking crack. You're smoking no, crack, dude. Sharky. Sharky already took an L. He's going to... He's, like, not mentally there anymore. He's not going to win anymore. He's going to lose out, even in playoffs. If y'all even make playoffs. Sheesh. Nah, dude. And then We're Ice versus you. Up. Ice versus you? Dude, Ice is what are you undefeated. Say? What do you guys say about that? Play? Ice <laughs> is undefeated. You you you're gonna choke. You're you're gonna predict on one turn, over predict, and you're gonna be like, oh, Ice is so bad. Why would he make that play? <laughs> and then it's gonna be you who made the terrible play. That's what's gonna <laughs> happen. <laughs> nah, dude. I, I think everything you said so far has been completely false and fake news, and I think we're gonna win seven now. Um, I guess we'll see. Josh. Yeah. Um, when I'm... we went seven zero, dude, and you get your first loss to Glop, we're gonna be talking about this next week, dude. On part of the no, eruption, like dude. I said, if I lose to Glop, <laughs> there's no more part in the eruption. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's all I have to say. Anything else, Josh? Um, I cannot wait for you to lose to Glop, and for you to have to admit next week, dude, that um, to the fans that you got glopped. That's it. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Join us next week on our final regular season, Pardon the Eruption.